So today is December 2nd, and we're reading Isaiah 9, 6, and 7 of the Contemporary English Version. And um, it says, A child has been born for us. We have been given a son who will be our ruler. His names will be Wonderful Advisor and Mighty God, Eternal Father and Prince of Peace. His power will never end. Peace will last forever. He will rule David's kingdom and make it grow strong. He will always rule with honesty and justice. The Lord all-powerful will make certain that all of this is done. Lord Jesus, we come before you and we seek your face and we ask that you just help us to receive your word and hear from you because you are amazing. Help us to embrace who you are, not who this world tries to dictate you to be, not how we perceive you through the failings of man, but who you truly are that we may learn to receive fully who you are in our lives and surrender fully in trust and love to you because you are stunningly awesome. That we could be true ambassadors, true salt and light in this world, that we could truly reflect you once we understand who you truly are. In your precious name I ask this, Jesus. Amen. We see here that... Um, most people, it's most versions say wonderful counselor. So here it says wonderful advisor, which is uh, basically the same thing. Um, if you go to Jesus with questions, you will get answers. Most times it's not the answer we want. And that's why we say that um, God doesn't give us an answer. We insist on our way and Christians do too. So I'm not saying like, oh, you know, it. we ask God for direction and when he gives it we don't like it sometimes it's in regards to relationships God should I still be friends with this person um, that I always have a bad attitude when I hang out with or God should I date this person oh but I really really like this person um, sometimes it's about money um, oh I, I just you know I earn this money this money is mine um, can I can I buy this gaming system can I buy this pair of shoes and God will tell us no and we'll do it anyway um, because in our minds, uh, we've earned the money. It's ours. Um, but God, Jesus is a counselor and Holy Spirit is a counselor. And if we're sensitive and we actually listen and obey, we will find that a lot of the stresses and the issues in our lives don't really exist because we're listening to God instead of choosing our own way. Most times stressors and frustrations in our lives are because we disobeyed him. Or chose our own way. That's another way to see it. Um, so another thing, people tend to have an issue um, aligning is that Jesus was also God. Um, he was man and God in one, which is amazing um, when you consider it. He was fully man and fully God. I, it's it's hard for us humans to wrap our mind around that, and I'm not even going to try. I'm not going to. I'm not a theologian, and I'm not going to try to make sense of that for you. But he is God, Jesus. So everything he says was truth and representative of God. Um, he spoke for God because he is God. <laughs> the three in one thing. Like I said, not a theologian. I can get off on a rabbit trail there. Um, eternal Father and Prince of Peace. Prince of Peace. We should have peace. I'm not talking about world peace. That would be amazing. If everyone truly acted like Christ, not their interpretation of who he is, we would have peace um, across the world. But... He, he will give us a peace that surpasses all understanding. Um, and that's huge because in this world, especially in the um, dynamic we're currently living in, where we are surrounded by terrorism and, and terror is, terrorism is all about fear, to have peace in the midst of that is just amazing. And that alone would be a testament to who Jesus is. If you reflected that peace out... Um, you would be able to lead people to Christ very, very quickly because people desire that peace and that surety. Um, we see at the very end of verse 7, it says that the Lord All-Powerful will make certain that all this is done. There is nothing that can stop God from His will being done. And we have seen that in the life of Christ. Uh, tomorrow is the third, and we'll be doing Isaiah 11, 1 through 5. And we will see you then.